when it's live. Check. Doesn't tell me when it's live. Does not tell me. It doesn't tell me when it's live. I don't know if I'm live or not. Check, check, test. There we go. All right. I don't know when it's live. The only way I know is when I uh, do the, um, when I refresh the page and I see that I'm live on the YouTube view page. Good to see you guys. It is Sunday night. We are a little bit early before the markets open here. I want to get everything up where we can see you. We got Grow Mechanic was first. He beat Donald in New Mexico, who is usually first. Bluestone Ridge Railroad is new here. Welcome, my friend. Chuck and Plata says hello. Hello, Chuck. Herb Ash is here. Yes, Herb. Good to see you. All right. And thank you for popping in on Terrell's live stream last night. I missed it, unfortunately. Not able to make it, but she got a thousand subscribers, which is really good. Well deserved. All right. Very good. All right. Welcome. Investing in video games. He's new here, too. Welcome. And we got Silver Damso checking in from the tub. Hopefully, it's a nice warm tub. And Jeff Coney is here. Check, check, check. Is in the mail. There you go. Italian G is here. Hello, Italian G. Hope you're doing well, my friend. It's been a little while since we've seen you. Mm. All right. So let us get into the comments here before we check the markets in about 10 minutes. Gold Chick Vibafell. Has anyone ever seen reverse scrawny eagle on a draped bust a silver dollar from the 1790s? Yes, I have. And uh, it is kind of a weird thing. In fact, there's a, a coin from 2008 that has the same exact uh, design on it for the bald eagle. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. All right, D is here. I think he's new as well. A lot of new folks popping in. This is great. He says, good to be in the chat with Salome tonight. Well, welcome. Glad you're here. It's an honor. Andrew G T is here. Uh, and he is uh, from... Peaceful and Quiet, Manitow Springs. Welcome, my friend. I think you're new here, too. And uh, Eric says that some riots are breaking out in a city 15 miles away. Time to dust off the iron. Yes, indeed. I tell you what, it is very appalling. In fact, I saw a video of George Floyd where he actually condemned violence and gang banging and the like. And uh, he is literally turning in his grave if he were to see what's going on with these um, uh, rioting and looting going on. And then he'd do prosecute everyone that is looting and rioting and causing violence to the fullest extent of the law. They need to do it. There's good people that can protest, but these things are getting out of hand. Silver Wolverine is here. Hello, sir. Good to see you. It's all good. It's here. The Silver Fist is here. Same old grubby fist is here. Mark B says, now I need the 2016 S Silver American Liberty Proof Metal. Yes, indeed. It's a cool metal, indeed. I think they're still selling for a premium in the secondary market. Drain the Swamp 2.0 says here, I think it's going to be Lady Liberty taking a knee on the eagle. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, I don't think that'll be the case, but uh, yeah. Uh, Tradeon says, I wonder why American Eagle is so shiny and Russian George the Victorious is luster lusterless. Uh, yes. Oh, man. Um, yeah, it could be the dyes as a uh, gold chick talks about how they do the, uh, do the dyes. And she was saying here, she meant to say great bust. Yes, that's right. We got it. All right. Sterling Cannabis is here. Bong hit, he says. That's right. Andre G says, it will be interesting to see how the new... Well, how the new design looks like. It sure will. We'll find out in a, less than a month, hopefully. And Donald Robinson says, Sal, your comparative analysis regarding legislation and amendments that establish American Gold and Silver Eagle program versus legislation for 2021. Uh, yes. And, uh, okay. I don't know what he was saying there. Because it wasn't a complete sense. I don't know if you're saying that I made a comparison, but I did talk about the early legislation. And uh, this is for 2021. I think this is at the rendition of the... the um, every 25 years, the Secretary of the Treasury is allowed by law to change the design. And that could be held with that, except for, I think, the gold for some strange reason. But anyways, one thing you can count on is change. That's stacking and packing. That's exactly right, sir. Uh, let's see. 
let's see here. Yes, that's exactly right, Eric. I, I'm in total agree with you, uh, agreement with you, Eric. Uh, we agree, most everybody agrees that the George Floyd was killed um, and it was an atrocity what happened to him by the police and they need to be held accountable and they are and they will be. That's what the court system is for. That's what justice is. Justice will be served. But destroying communities and personal properties is not going to bring that about. I had a... Uh, uh, Yes, indeed. That's exactly right. Uh, C01 Tade Nugent says a new reverse design with Salivate Metal logo. Oh, my goodness gracious. No, I don't think that'll be happening. But boy, that would be something, wouldn't it? Oh, man. Mm. Trevor Points is here. Hello. Good to see Trevor. Oh, man. There you go. Trevor Points has kicked off the. the um, uh, Super chat party there with the two dollar super chat. As you know, all the super chats uh, collected since uh, I think mid April will be going towards some new equipment for the channel. So we're slowly getting there. So I appreciate that very much, my friend. Actually, whatever my take home is from those, which is about fifty two percent, I think, of these. So yes, so about a dollar, dollar twenty or something like that. So I appreciate that. Silver Wolverine blowing up cities, not good. Lamestream media has a problem with uh, calling thugs, but killing cops and burning cities and stealing is okay. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I take one word and blow it out of proportion. But uh, I would I would dare say that um, everybody would agree. Everybody should agree that peaceful protesting is certainly fine as long as you're within the confines of the law. But anybody who destroys property, who hurts other people who attacks police and burns things in the streets um, and breaks the law is a thug. No question about it. All right, let me go. All right, yes, I'm back from the space station, Irvin Middleton. That's exactly right. Thank you so much. That was a cool little uh, uh, little game there that, that was made, and I finally made it Doc. Made, finally made it to Doc. Yes, we have no... It's a sausage fest, guys. Where's all the girls? We need Barbara Carbo, we need Padunda Johnson, Padunda Johnson, we need, well, we have Silver Damsel here. We do have Silver Damsel, which is great. And uh, let's see, Steve C.T. says justice might be served, but he will get the best legal representatives in the country and the minimum penalty. Um, yes, well, uh, that's part of what the justice system is about, uh, innocent until proven guilty, and he should get a good legal representation um, or at least legal representation. Um, hopefully it'll be good. But um, hopefully the evidence will point in a direction, at least from what I saw from the video, it looks like that it was completely unwarranted, all of it. And I believe that um, at least from what I've seen, he should be, uh, uh, <clears throat> I would probably find him guilty based off of what we know now. And life in prison or death penalty, either or, or both, might be both. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Silver Bullet, thank you so much, my friend. Silver Bullet, he's got a good channel. I think he's doing some auctions on his channel, uh, video auctions there. Where he'll post a video of a coin, and then you bid on it. So check him out. But thank you so much for that donation, for the upgrade, for the equipment. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Stack, Stack, Save UK. Hello. Freedom Stacker is here. Good to see you. Uh, no, John P., you are here. It's all right. It's all good. Uh, we have uh, Silver Damsels here. And so we have female representation. Here comes Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Good to see you. Barbara's made it in. Cat Jitsu says, what's up, Mr. SM and everybody? Hello, good to see you. We're working way up to the markets opening up here at 6. Silver Wolverine is going to be something to see. I hope I can get tubes for 350 bucks. Yes, indeed. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, indeed. All right. And Jim Short says, I wonder what the thought process was to put the family of eagles on the gold coin and the single eagle on the silver coin. The silver coin with this larger size would be a more condu conducive to receive a more elaborate family of eagles to still maintain a better level of detail. That's a very good point, Jim Short, because they got to fit that family of eagles on a 10th ounce coin. For sure. Yes, indeed. Hello. Our Jim Fisher... Did I hear a song hit? No, no, no song here so far. And uh, Nevada Stacker, yes, good to see you too, sir. And this is pre-recorded, Spectacular. This is not live. 
I have timed this message to coincide with your chat. We worked that out beforehand. Uh, we're here to fool everybody. Spectacular and I worked this out where he would say something in the chat on this premiere video that's not live at the same exact time, and then I would answer it. All right, very good to see you. Okay, it's, uh, Pamela Rice is here. Hello. Good to see Pamela Rice. We're having some female representation here. we got Silver Damsel, Barbara Carbone, and Pamela Rice. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. Okay, to pick this eagle, and I don't want to do that right now because I don't have time to fact check that uh, URL to make sure it's not. But thank you, Zephiel. Uh, Joe Costello says, Explore New Horizons of the Sal Indeed. Yes, Joey. Thank you, Joey. Timothy Whittington, going to get the tubes for them this year. All right. Very good. Thank you, sir. Bill457 says the design is going to fit the security features. I just hope it's not some stupid round circle that has 999 in it or like the UK coins with the swirling lines, I'm sure. And I hope it will be a nice change. Yes, I do too. Classy. They've got a tall order ahead of them for sure. And the family of eagles needs a makeover, and I agree with that. Silver ripples. Thank you, sir. One more, and then we'll check the markets. Well, it's not quite six yet, so we're going to fly through these things here. Savage Stacker says, I love the single eagle flying on the gold coin. I do too. Yes, indeed. That's what they should do. Bring back the St. Gons reverse. I'm right there with you, John Doe. I think what they should do is bring back the classic reverse designs too for these eagles. I think that would be the best thing. Yes, indeed. Mm. La Petite Silver is here. Hello, La, 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 Petite. La Petite. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. J.S., Obnoxious voice and opening instrumental. Oh my goodness, JS. Well, I hope you come to this live stream for me to say, <laughs> That should keep you as a viewer and hopefully redeem myself for, the, for your hatred of the instrumental and my obnoxious voice. Marshall Hell says, I'm looking forward to seeing the new design. That gold coin with the eagle in flight is looking sweet. Yes, indeed. I like that. It's one of my favorite modern eagle designs, I think. Hello, Days of Confused Stackers here. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. Welcome. All right, let's get into the markets now. It is after just after 6. What will they do? Will silver cross over into $18 land? Uh, well, so far, um, you know, it's weird because I've noticed I knew it ended at $17.95 when the markets close, and they're open up now at $0.50 cents up. That would, should bring it over 18, but it's not. I don't know what's going on there, but it's not. It didn't move an inch. Uh, now, gold did. Gold did go up at 17.41.50, $11.80. All right, very good. And the platinum's up a dollar, and palladium's up $3. But gold, silver, if it moved 50 cents upwards, it would not be 17.95. Because there it is right there. It's like these, that number has not changed. Something's awry there. But it's just out of the starting gate. We got a medium man here. Okay, Trevor Points is seeing 1820. So that's okay. Now and now there it is. It is over 18, guys. Look at that. Thank you, Trevor. All right, so it's up 22 cents. It's 18 dollars and 17 cents now, guys. Silver's over the 18 dollar mark. Yeah. Mm. 1817. There it is. All right. So that's good news for silver. Uh, gold's up uh, substantially there, 13, I mean, well, it's up almost a percentage point, not substantially, but every movement upwards, I'll tell you what, it's something else. Savage Stacker, good to see you, Savage. He is the man. Silversmith is here. Everybody's showing different things. Crispy's Kiwi Adventures is here. All right, good to see you, sir. Coming to us from the future. Yes, indeed. Welcome, sir. All right, welcome indeed. Okay, it is Monday where he is at. Okay, very good. And so, yeah, look at that, guys. So, Palladium took a bit of a hit, just about a half a percentage point, right at 2000 bucks. Crazy, crazy. Ryan Dubé, what's up? Listening again from the kayak on a lake in Maine. Wow. I have never been on a kayak in the middle of a lake in Maine on a live stream. I feel honored. Do me a favor. Turn the volume up, and I'm going to sing a little song to everybody on the lake there in Maine. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. I'll give you uh, two seconds to turn the volume up, and here we go. All right. Ryan is here, and he's on the lake. If you can hear me, then you won't be late. 
Because we're on the lake in Maine. It's not very cold. It's not very warm. It's right somewhere in between. We're on the lake in Maine and we're having a good time. Kayaking and but not kayaking at the same time. He's going to paddle to the left. He's going to paddle to the right. As he's going to do it. And he's going to do it until the night. Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah. Mm. Ah. His fellow kayakers are probably like, dang, we've scared everything, we've scared him away. And we've scared the fish away, too, as Barbara Carbone has uh, confessed there. Yes, indeed. Scared the fish away on the lake in Maine. Craziness. All right, so there, look at that. So the markets uh, and a little bit of a crazy movements here. Um, wild to see gold uh, go up and silver is performing very well, over 1% out of the starting gate. $18.16. Yes, indeed. All right. So let's get back to these channel comments. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling that we are going to have an interesting market watch tonight. But we'll see. We'll see here. And Pudenda Johnson is here. Hello, Pudenda. Pudenda just may have influenced a purchase that I made recently. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Taking advantage of a slight dip. A very slight dip, but nonetheless... Uh, oh, Pamela Rice is in the Poconos looking for mountain homes. Oh, man, a song for her. Yes, indeed. Okay, so very good. So Pamela Rice is there on uh, Mulberry in Manhattan, and uh, she wants to get away from that mess. She wants to get out in the country. Yes, indeed. So she's in the Poconos, poking around in the Poconos, looking for some mountain homes, some peace and quiet where people roam although i will say if i can if i can confess that where she's at she's wearing a dress because on the streets of new york city it is pretty quiet and shuttered down but she would rather be shuttered in another place a place of peace and solitude into the poconos mountains deep outside the city Pamela Rice is going to be there soon. All is one now. Good to see you. All right. Alan Gold is here. Let's sing a song for Alan Gold because Sal's life doesn't matter. Here we go. Let's see here. Um, Alan Gold, he's not bold. He just sits until he's old. He comes on the snooze units to beg and plead to come on side to make to mate with a steed and then he comes out and comes on here and he insults me as if he's queer circle jerk corruption is what he's about but that's all right because alan gold doesn't shout he actually has a very calm and soothing voice but what comes off of his lips is quite choice old alan gold is a man of no morals but that's all right, because his last name's not Sorrels. I don't think it is anyway. You might want to confirm that, because I don't know what his last name is. All right, his real last name. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be uh, probably getting rid of a lot of uh, viewers here. All right. Hey, Darstacker has just joined the citizenry as an honorary citizen. Thank you, Darth. Good to see you, sir. Yes, indeed. Wait for Alan Gold to get into one of those, too, maybe. You'll see here. Mm. Ah, okay, PD Ballerina, who we've not seen in a while. Good to see PD. Sure, hope they choose wisely. I do, do I do as well, uh, PD. You're awesome. Very good. Silver High says, "Who would have thought that the gold legislation, gold coin legislation, would uh, require a family of eagles? Talk about uh, trying tying the hands of designers. Yes, I know exactly. It really does. It's insane. I don't like that design." Okay, let's see here. Silver prices in New Zealand have gone stupid. People are asking twice spot for ASEs. Wow. Yeah, that's that um that is quite a uh a divergence for sure between the uh, spot and the physical price, and they're still there. And uh, so yes indeed. So let's take a look here at the markets again. They are reacting. Gold is uh up a, a third, almost a third of a percentage point to 17.34, come, easing back a little bit from the open. Silver is up 16 cents, almost a full percentage point to $18.11. Uh, good to see it over 18 again. Very good. Yeah, Darstacker says we should do a duet. Yes, indeed. 
All right, uh, investing in uh, video games. Ask, how did you discover precious metals, Sal? Uh, probably when I was a, um, a teenager, when I bought my first Johnson Buffet silver bar. And I thought, wow, this that's cool. They come in bar form, too. And um, that's kind of really where I really discovered it. And then from then on, I kind of accumulated pieces here and there. And uh, yes, indeed. Yuri's Eclectic uh, Extravaganza is here. Hello, Yuri's good to see you. All right, Silver Smith is listening to me and watching NASCAR. All right, hard to compete with NASCAR, that's for sure. Mm. Um, let's see, um, is 30 bucks for 1997 ASC a decent price? Uh, no, uh, I don't think the 97s are any special year per se. I don't think they have an extra low mintage. I would not pay that for that particular year. Um, in fact, I think the only year that was really has much of a premium to it would be the 96. All right. So there we go. So that's for the metals. Right, let's go back to the channel comments a bit here. Mark B says, Sal, I like the first coin you showed us. The Eagle is perfection. Yes, thank you. Yes, I like that. That'd be nice if they chose that one again. That would be cool, but for this, we'll see here. Okay, uh, Darstacker, we covered that. Uh, wasn't it from your godfather's Indian scent he gave you? Yes. Um, yeah, actually, it, believe it or not, um, my grandfather took me to the coin shop that had the silver bar. So there was a, uh, there is a tie-in. I don't know, did we cover that on the interview? I'm not sure. You guys check out Darstacker's channel and find that interview, and you tell me. That's right, exactly. Let's see. But it was a great interview. Darstacker asked some great questions is interviewed for other um, uh, channels as well. Uh, it's got a great channel, so check them out. 96, 86, and 94 are the three keys. Although the 86s, I don't think, are all that rare either. Uh, 97 was good for maple, says Medio Man. Very good. Alan Gold says, Sal, please report to the White House with a MAGA hat immediately. Oh, man, okay. Hey, I would do it. I would do it. I'd probably welcome with open arms if I had a MAGA hat on there, right? Okay. Let's see here. Uh, mean free paths is not to be that guy, but the phrase was originally chomping, champing at the bit. Uh, nonetheless, great video, Sal. Always appreciate the information you put out. We can all hope for the best with a new design. Champing at the bit. I did not know that. It's not chomping at the bit. Thank you. VAR1328 says, I don't want any coin commemorating 2020. It was a poopy year, and I want it canceled at ASAP. I bet 2020 coins will be cursed. Well, I hope not. I hope not. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Silva, Silver20, I like the eagle at the, in the beginning. It would be nice if they did something like that. Yes, it would be cool, especially on the gold. I think it would be great on the gold. Mm. Uh, Donald in New Mexico says, uh, how about a family of eagles attacking a commie pinko panda? There you go. Now, that would be interesting. That would be a cool commemorative. Silver Damsel, I'm listening to you with my cousin. Can you say hello to her? I'm introducing her to your twisted humor. Well, hello to Silver Damsel's cousin, her lovely cousin. Wow. Is she in the bathtub with you, Silver Damsel? Uh, that would be a little weird. Uh, uh, I don't know what her name is, but Damsel's cousin. Usually Silver Damsel listens to me whilst in the tub with some bubbles. Yes, indeed. Strategically covering sensitive parts of her body. But we're glad that you're here. And, uh, and, I'm, and, and I appreciate it. We're, we're having a good time here. We're, we get a little twisted from time to time as we look at the markets. In fact, we're looking at the markets right now. And, uh, you know, they're making eh, not much movement here lately, but everything's going up. That's what we like, the precious metals to go up. So hello again to Silver Damsel's lovely cousin. Um, and I'm going to assume that she's lovely. I'm going to go ahead and make that assumption. All right. Now here, all right, I bet you that Silver Damsel's cousin is a hardcore death metal freak. She probably loves death metal. And at least, uh, uh, at least German thrash metal bands like Creator... So, Kalonic Stacker has an MMA matchup. Guitarist, creator guitarist Millie Petroza versus former Mint director Edmund C. Moy. Going to have to give this one to Edmund C. Moy. Why? Because Edmund C. Moy was awesome. He rocked the 2009 Ultra High Relief. 
And though Millie is a great guitar player and a great vocalist, he's a liberal weenie. And uh, he also likes Kate Bush for some reason. I have no reason, no understanding of why he likes Kate Bush, but he does. Uh, yes, indeed. All right. All right, let's see. So I'm going to give that one to Edmund C. Moy. Very good. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see here. Okay, moving on up here. Donald New Mexico says, I like the Eagle and the Liberty medals. By the way, I believe in the coming basketball $5 commemorative that will be the most popular gold jewelry coin of all time. Really? Donald, maybe you're being facetious there, but you never know. The $5 uh, commemorative uh, basketball coin will have the same design as the half and the dollar, like you, is always the case with these curved coins. But anyway, Vishnu Nat is here. Hello. Salavate R. LV Rel Relivium Technologies. That's right. Yes, indeed. Mr. Paradise. All right. Bush is good. Yes. Yes. Bush is good. Kate's Bush. Kate Bush is some, um, I don't know what she was. Some art, some like, um, I don't know, gothic um, alternative chick or something. Mm. Ah. Okay. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Uh, Renta Brew Hajuka Bagal says, Jinka Inka Bagaba, a I eat two types of five so far. So he wants me to call about this coin. We can't call, or else I would call that number. That'd be fine. But uh, J Cream 21, or Zay Cream 21, the Lone Eagle flying is beautiful, and I would vote for that or something similar. Me too. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, all right. Silver Damsel says, My cousin likes Kiss. And she's not in the bath with me. I took an early bath, and she was like, what? All right. We threw threw, threw everything off, threw the schedule off. Because I'm not in the bath. But she likes Kiss. Ask her if she likes God of Thunder, that song. That's really cool. God of Thunder is a great song by Kiss. The band Death actually redid that <coughs> song. It's pretty wild. AC says, it's kind of exciting to see what they will be. Does that mean the current ones will be numismatic? It is given Amex will exploit their customer's guarantee. No, the uh, the current ones will not be numismatic uh, at all. There's so many eagles out there. Um, it's just going to be a change of design is all. But they will not be worth anything more than any other thing is. All right, Captain ha Ron Hayward is here. Hello, Captain Ron. Let's take a look at the markets here. For the benefit of Silver Damsel's cousin, the markets are up. Only slightly, though. They're pulling back just slightly, a little bit here. Gold, especially. It's only up a dollar or eight dollars and seventy cents, a half a percentage point. Silver is doubling the performance of gold at this very moment, eighteen dollars and thirteen cents. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh, my singing has sent Cyber Curtain Twitcher's wife to bed. This is not good for marital relations in the Twitcher household. This is not a good thing at all. I'm sorry to cause marital strife to divide uh, the matrimony of said Cyber Curtain Twitcher and his lovely wife. This is awful. I've got to somehow make it up to Cyber Curtain Twitcher. I don't know how, but anyways, all right. Lark Val says, no, Justin Bieber. There we go, Justin Bieber. Yes, indeed. I'm a B Bieber. I'm a believer. I'm a slurper, too. I'm a slurper. I'm a burper. I'm a midnight twerker. That's what we do all day long. Uh, I'm a peeper. I'm a sleeper. In the middle of a queefer. <laughs> but that's all we know. And we get along. All right. Okay, Michael Z says... I just wish they would start producing five and ten ounce eagles. Yes, or five and well, they got five ounce America the Beautiful coins that they do, and those are pretty cool. Oh man, uh, her favorite song by by Kiss is Beth, which yes, indeed, I don't. I used to be able to play that on bass, but I don't know. It, it's been a long time since I played it. Beth, yes, indeed. Me and the boys, we're gonna be uh, jamming tonight. That's what he said. I don't know how. Forget how it goes. America, Silver Patriot. With a uh, drop in a super chat of $2. Thank you so much. Very cool. Uh, all that money is going. Well, the ones, uh, at least the money that taxes doesn't take away and YouTube doesn't take away, which is about uh, 48%. Uh, 
the other one, uh, all the rest of it will go towards some new equipment. So thank you, America Silver Patriot. You are the man. Yes, indeed. Ice to Earth also did a cover of God of Thunder. That's cool. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to listen to Beth again on um, for uh, Silver Damsel's cousin. I wonder if her name is Beth. You never know. Mega Beth. I mean, it could be. You never can know. Hmm. Would Nico ask, have you any gold 20 European francs? Yes, I do. I have a 20 franc um, rooster. Yes, indeed. Yes, we're Tricky Bow Tricky. Tricky Bow Bicky. That's right. Tricky, tricky guy. He says, if a protester sees another protester breaking a window and then does not do a citizen's arrest, then both protesters should be shot dead in the street. There will be blood. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't necessarily, don't necessarily agree with shooting them, but I do think there needs to be stiff penalties for all of these looters and, uh, and these people that are causing violence and property damage. Arrest them all uh, to the full extent of the law, I think. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see here. All right, very good. Uh, things got heavy last night. Yes, they did. Very sad what's going on. Have we not learned the lessons, um, you know, of the past? Um, indeed. Mark Hazley says, I'd buy it. All right, very good. Me too. I will do too. I will do the stacking nerd is here. The stacking nerd. All right, the one and the only stacking nerd. Welcome. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, stacking nerd. All right. Okay. Okay, M. Hawkins says, I don't buy for cool, majestic, or beauty. I just buy to refine to 4.9 certified. I don't sell. I don't collect. I just pile it up uh, until I have no more room. Then send it to the smelters. Brick bars, rounds, a pile of scrap, rinse, repeat. Okay, so he's got scrap he's doing that with. All right, very good. Very good. I've got uh, coffee I'm dealing with. Mm. All right. Silver Britches says, oh boy, here we go. Yes, indeed, Silver Britches. Yes, indeed. Comex has big problems. Big, big problems. We have much bigger problems, Sal. My wife just went shopping. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, that's a pretty big problem there. I hear you. Very good. Okay. Yes, indeed. A human says, so gold beats paper. No way. Actual physical gold is the best. We be our own central banks when we do that. Zay Cream is here, and he's right. These movements get keep getting hijacked by organized groups backed by billionaires. That's right. There you go. Yes, indeed. Yes, we're nothing wrong with peaceful protesting, uh, but when they break things, when they destroy, and when they cause violence and hurt people, um, then it's taken, it, it's, uh, it's absurd and it's, uh, it should be dealt with to the full extent of the law. Looting is the needle on the tack tachometer. We have to face how much the lower classes have been abused to such a degree that riots break out. Yeah, it's too bad. Savage Stacker, thank you so much, my friend. Savage Stacker, you are the man. Appreciate that. Yes, very much. All right, very kind indeed, my friend. Savage Stacker, great channel, by the way. You guys should definitely check him out. And a very kind of you, sir. Yes, indeed. Silverholic says, could this be the first step towards the end of Comex? We can dream, can't we? I tell you what, I think the Comex is being rocked, for sure. And what's going on here, I tell you. All right, let's see here. Silver Honda is here, and he drives a blue Honda. Yes, indeed, Silver Honda, the man. He introduced me to a new brand of coffee that I might... Pick up some time. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay, Z Zay Cream is in one of these cities. Um, and he's literally watched uh, some of these out-of-towners destroy the city I love. Well, I'm so sorry, my friend. Uh, and that is uh, very bad. And I hate to see that happen to your city. There's multiple cities where this is happening. And uh, it really does. It, it, it dishonors the memory of George Floyd. It, uh, it dishonors the peaceful protesters as well. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Eric says, uh, Brother, please quit referring to them as protesters. The First Amendment protects peaceful assembly uh, and requests re regents of grievances. These thugs are... Oh, yeah, I agree. 
I'm talking about the people who are being peaceful. I'm not talking, the ones that are not breaking the law, I would consider them peaceful protesters. But these thugs that are destroying properties and, uh, and, uh, and hurting people, yeah, there's no room. I think we should all condemn them. Uh, yeah, I'm right there with you, brother. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see. Okay, moving on up. John Smith says, I'll reserve judgment until I see uh, what they come up with, but we'll only say that the design should be worthy of the metal it contains as well as a history and tradition of the American Eagle brand. I think that means probably it has a lot to live up to. Yes, you're right, John Smith. Very well said. Very well said. Indeed. Okay, Cache Cats is popping in to say hello. Burning all over the place. Y'all have a great night. Thank you so much for popping in. Yes, indeed. I appreciate all you guys being here. If I don't say hello to you, it's because I don't see your comment, your chat comment, as I go back and forth. And if you type my name out uh, as it is on my channel without the space, it should turn red or orange, and then I'll see it. But I appreciate everybody being here uh, for sure. Definitely appreciate you guys. And I will say that based off of what's been going on, uh, in our country today, uh, we should all just be praying uh, for the for the country and uh, and and condemning the violence and condemning uh, you know the rare cases the rare cases of police brutality like what we saw. We condemn wrong and evil, no matter where. Uh, let's see here. All right, and I agree with Stacking Nerd. The people destroying things they don't care about Floyd or rights. They just want to riot. It's their excuse to riot, and that's the that's the that's the real problem here. All right, there is no gold in Fort Knox's gold chick. Well, I know a lot of people feel like you do, and it, and um, it's somewhat understandable because uh, there's not really a transparent audit of it. All right, Donald finally made it in. Hello, Donald. All right. Okay, let's see here. Smell my finger. That's right. Uh, Sterling Cannabis says six and one push-ups now. Fractional Reserve helps you. Eleven will cover you for forty-seven. All right, Sterling Cannabis. Yeah, I think we might do a few push-ups here momentarily. Medium Man, I fully agree, Sal. I hope they are listening. I hope so too. But I doubt the U.S. Mint pays attention to me. Let's see what the markets are doing. What are they doing now? Okay, look at that, guys. Um, a little bit of a uh, movement. But not a whole lot, uh, but up. All the metals are up except for palladium. Gold is up almost a half a percentage point, $7.70. Silver is up almost a full percentage point, $0.17. Cents, well over $18 now. So that's good. All right, very good. And uh, let's see here. So it's good to see silver starting to perform a little better now. Squeezing that ratio down, I think, below 92 to 1 uh, or 96 to 1. And the platinum's up four dollars. Good to see Ozzy Max is here. Hello, Ozzy Max. Uh, LL Poe or I I Poe is here, and Jay Parr is here. All right. Good to see you guys. Okay, moving up. Sterling Cannabis says, as long as they have Lady Liberty, not a person or an e and an eagle, they can say, "In God we trust," and I would like that. Yes. Well, Sterling Cannabis are not changing the obverse, so we still will have Lady Liberty there. But uh, the eagles are changing on the on the verse. Uh, a multitude of gratitude to you, Sal. Thank you, Chuck and Plot. I didn't know what AMOG meant, but he told me. And J3B is here with the hashtag slurp. Good to see you, sir. It has been a while. Hope you're doing well. Mm. Ah, yes, indeed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's no logical excuse not to film an audit or on film with a scale with a sigma. Deep. Yeah. Well, I think some parts they probably can't film for security purposes, but I think there's enough that they can do to satisfy the public. Uh, okay, all right, okay, here we go. Silver Damsel, we're going to do 15 push-ups for the lovely cousin of Silver Damsel. Let's, let's, let's knock out 15 of these push-ups. We're going to make it happen. We're going to do it. Guys, let's make this happen. Here we go. And get stretched out. Ugh. 15 push-ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 for uh, Silver Damsel's uh, cousin. I had to give her. I wanted to overachieve just slightly. Trump be cool. Hello. All right. Yes, indeed. Slurp it up. Very good. Okay. Yes, indeed. Mm. Yes, indeed. Okay. How many times did I say yes, indeed? Too many times I said a uh, yes, indeed. Girl push-ups. Yes, indeed. Herb Ash, Herb Ash, Herb Flatulence. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. It's probably my shoulder cracking. Uh, but I hope I didn't fart while I did those push-ups. It would not be good. Uh, low blood pressure says, It doesn't matter. Comex is God. And everyone listens to their price. Yes. Well, not lately. There's been a divergence. It's narrowed a little bit, but not by much. Pulling an addict? I'm definitely looking forward to the new design. Yes, me too, my friend. Me too. I'm curious to see what it is. Silver Turtle is here. Good to see you. Welcome, Silver Turtle. And Trump be cool. So good to see you. Canadian Stacker, just watch your other video. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. Oh, good. Thank you. No problem. Uh, well, you can tell her, Silver Damsel, you can tell your lovely cousin that she pumped me up. Yes, indeed. So thank you. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Andre C. says... What happens to ETFs? Uh, well, I don't know. We shall see. It could be spiral out of control. Uh, we'll find out. We'll see what happens. And we'll just keep an eye on it. It's all the more reason, like the end of the article said here, if you don't hold it, you really don't fully own it. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, the actual metal itself doesn't lie. You can't, you can't uh, uh, twist it. You know, it just it is what it is. Northern Coins, it looks like we're getting a new coin over here in the UK sometime soon. A dinosaur coin and silver proof and gold. My kids love them. All right. Wow, that's cool. Pretty interesting. Yes, indeed. All right. DW says, I only look at the COMEX spot price as a guide. I look at the retail price and the posted buyback price uh, to have a real price view. That's right, DW. It reminds me of the video, The Only Price That Matters, that I did with regards to uh, gold and silver. Let's check and see what the market is doing right now. We do like to pop in from time to time to check out these markets. And they are reacting as such here. Uh, but they're holding relatively steady, but in a positive territory, well in the positive territory, especially for silver, which is almost double performing uh, gold at the point. As of right now, it's at almost six-tenths of a percentage point up at $10.10 at $17.39.80 for gold. Silver is at $18.13. Broke that $18 barrier right out of the starting gate. Pretty wild to see. All right. Yes, it's Terry here. I want to see what Terry's reaction to the silver price is. Because she hates silver. So, yes, indeed. Mm. I to see you guys. Okay. And platinum is up $4. So, there you go. Okay, and Eugene Lucero, I think it's going to be the Walking Liberty Half Dollar Eagle, and they will use in the new Silver Eagle with the new security features. Can't wait to see. I, I kind of hope it is. That would be really cool if they did that. Okay, B and B. Barbara Sal doesn't reply to 99 push-ups. Maybe that's beyond his ability. Oh, did somebody suggest I do 99? Yes, that is definitely beyond my ability. Yes, indeed. That's definitely not uh, in my wheelhouse. I'm not that good. ASMR Charlie says, I use SLV only to capitalize on silver's movement when spot price isn't moving. It has nothing to do with my accumulation. Same with gold. Okay. And there you go. All right. Did you use it to your advantage and find a ways to do it. All right. It's curtains for Sal, says Donald in New Mexico. Oh my goodness gracious. Slurping ain't right without these protests. There we go. Oh, something ain't right. Oh, I thought she said slurping ain't right. <laughs> Uh, all right, listening to Zeppelin live. All right. Okay, let's see here. 1966 Hemi. I'm so looking forward to the Comex crumbling like Obama's presidency. Yes. See what happens. We'll see what happens. Medium man, if silver keeps going up, I might break even. That would be great. And a lot of people have said if they break even with silver, they're getting out. And I can understand. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, but I think it really improves 
of what silver is about. It's about breaking even. All right, dove season is here. I'm taking the family over to visit with my parents. Have a great Sunday. Thanks, dove season. Appreciate you. And Eric says, do you think we'll see a day gold to palladium ratio of one to one? Yes, I think we could very well see that in due course. Right now, the metals are uh, still apart, uh, but they're getting closer. I'll tell you what, and more than likely, it will be gold climbing up to palladium. Uh, maybe maybe they both meet at uh, 1850 or something like that. <clears throat> but I think we possibly could see that. And very true. All right. Tricky guy, how much added weight would you have in muscle mass to do 100 push-ups? Or is it a matter of your personal stamina or willingness to take the pain? Oh, man, I think... Um, I would need more muscle, number one. I would need more stamina, number two. And number three, I don't like pain. So yes, indeed. I just don't think I have the stamina or the strength, both. Yes, indeed. Very good. Let's get back to these channel comments here. We've got uh, Justin Sartain. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. That is why I invest in metals. This is why I'm not letting the high metal prices phase me. I think dollar value is plummeting, keep stacking. Now, in the end, that's really kind of what it's all about. And that does not mean that we're anti-dollar or that we uh, don't have faith in the dollar. Well, obviously, we do. It's how we buy precious metals. It's how we buy everything. It's how we uh, pay our bills in our utilities. So we need the dollar. But the dollar is a depreciating asset by design. Silver and gold may depreciate. Uh, by the market forces, but they will likely appreciate to counter inflation. And that's really why we accumulate uh, gold and silver. Stephen Pascone says, the market always makes the truth come out. All these legal Ponzi schemes come crumbling down eventually. Learn from the past to be a righteous person with integrity. That's right. Very good. Solid advice there. As I move on forward here, Pal K K K K. There was some quite saying. There was a quite a company in Poland, Amber Gold. They offer gold certificates without having enough gold. Many of its clients lost their life savings. I can't believe how people trust paper. Wow, <clears throat> that's not good, man. It sounds like a definitely a scheme. I never heard of that, man. Okay. Uh, stacking and packing has no faith in the U.S. dollar. He trades it away as soon as I get it. Well, and see, I disagree with that. I think that it's good to have some cash on hand. Uh, it's good to have some cash on hand in case of emergencies. And it's good to have some cash in the bank, too. Um, you know, we do need it. It does, it does hold um, some worth, even though it does lose value each year. Um, there are some things uh, that... Um, it stays relatively stable with, but yeah. But I understand the sentiment behind what you're saying, stacking and packing, but gold chick, stamina, Sal. Yes, indeed, I'm trying to get more stamina. I think I'm doing a little better with it since of my dieting. Well, I mean, diets, if you want to call it that, I'm eating a little bit less, cutting back on a lot of sugars that I used to snack on a whole lot. Uh, but anyways, okay. Oh, uh, Bill. Says, my brother got married that day of Live Aid. Oh, okay, wow. Low blood pressure says, I want the gold confiscator FDR and the gold eagle. Hit oh, man. There is a uh, gold $5 coin with FDR on it. I've got it from 1997. Sooner 54, we all went to see what's behind the curtain, and we were all frightened to see what he uh, or isn't there. What is or what isn't there. Next question is, if what's there is real, trouble times, precious metals will adjust to whatever the truth is. Sleep well, metal collectors. That's right. In the end, we know what's real because the metal was right in front of us when we buy it. Okay. Let's see here. Moving on up. Uh, Ken Simotic, I completed an audit of Fort Knox. It was easy audit to do. I didn't see any gold there. Oh, my goodness. All right. Not there. Uh, Veronica Stack says, big money doesn't seem scared about something. I wonder what it is. I suspect it's of a secret nature. 
But hey, if it's a secret, I sure don't know. All right, yes, indeed. Secret, that's the thing. Secrets uh, kind of propel questions which lead to conspiracy theories. That's the way it usually happens. And you're, you're not going to avoid it. Uh, all of it, all right? So Gold Chick says, I'm going to need the stamina. Very good. Stuff. I knew there was a reason why I was doing all these push-ups. And exercising and mowing my yard, mowing my lawn. Red Step Stack is here. I guess the regular crew is not here tonight. You're only about 50%. Thumbs up. Yes. Thank you, Red Step Stack. Good to see you. Tricky guy. What is the bigger crime? A protester kicking the face of a business owner, protecting his business, or the Fed flooding the world with fiat and creating instant poverty for millions? Oh, man. I tell you what. That's a tough one. It really is. Because one of them is going to be legal and uh you know and create pain and hardship in a different way and the other one is more brash so i don't know man i tell you what tricky guy it's a good kind of comparison uh, i would say the long run probably the fed uh you know i mean it's insane all this money we're printing right now the 1200 dollar check we got cost us what six thousand dollars each so i don't know it's crazy Ken says, as I said in a previous video of yours, why is the Trumpster importing all the gold from Switzerland? It must be because USA has no gold of its own. No, that's not why. All this stuff is coming for trades. This is not the government getting the gold, importing the gold. We're not adding any more gold to our reserves in the United States. We haven't bought gold in I don't know how long. This is something different. I hope you come back to my live stream to get the answer to your question because I think it's important. Distinguish. Uh, uh, let's see here. All right, let's see here. Silver Turtle, thank you so much, my friend. Yes, yeah, silver and gold are up. Let's take a look at the markets right now for Silver Turtle. And uh, the gold is up uh, just over a half percentage point, up $9.90, 1739 below 1740 now. Silver's up uh, $18.12, up almost a full percentage point, and platinum is staying pretty stable there. Pamela Rice says, your next coin should be the shape of a cookie. On front, say slurp. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get away from that. Um, of course, I'm going to have to eat these cookies from Silver Honda, but um, um, cutting back on sweets, I'm trying to do better on that. And maybe I'd get one with a coffee mug on it. Mm. Ah, yes, indeed. Gordon Brown sold off half of UK gold. I did hear about that. Yeah, crazy. Gordon Brown was not the, the best PM of um, the United Kingdom. Melting down. I'm a patriot, but unfortunately the states uh, pull the best Kansas City shuffles, which are look here. Uh, while we basically are doing this, there should be an audit unless it's card they are holding up their sleeve. Uh, with all the corruption, I believe it's there to back power. And if any country became suspicious like China, well, they also know the plays before they made as well as human instincts to react. Ultimately, everyone just think of your own platform and with the common sense educational tools because every anybody should be able to grasp what's going on if you're really interested. Great last words about gold. Uh, very poetic. Thank you so much, Melting Down. Yes, indeed. And that's just it. The simplicity of it. Literally owning physical precious metals. I don't care. And, I don't, and it's fine if you want to dabble in the uh, ETFs. But I think anybody that does dabble in the ETF should have some physical gold and silver, too. Because that's really where it's at. It really is. Okay. Robert uh, Zelasco. When the when the COMEX stops delivery, what good is it? What will replace it? You know, it might be fearful. And that's the thing. If you're talking about a reset of our uh, systems, more than likely, they're going to reset to something that could be more corruptible or less transparent. And that is something that people may not consider uh, when they when they do that. And people may it may have this aura of being something that's better than it may not be. Uh, even if it is better, it has a chance of being corrupted and changed. All right. Randy Herbrechtsmeyer says, I hate change unless it's a walking Liberty Eagle. All right, there you go. Okay, let's see here, where are we at? Moving on up. Oh, here's a slurp for Barbara. Yeah, now we're getting, we're getting we're, this coffee's getting cold. We've been moving at this at a pretty fast pace. Ah, 
right, here we go. Then we got some good one. There's some slurp. Sorry, Barbara. Cooking dipping is fun indeed. All right. Okay, let's see. Apollo dude, no more screwing around. I want five or ten ounce eagles. Limited edition proof kilo eagles. Something different. That would be cool. That would be cool. All right, very good. Yes, thanks, Rick. So it's time to smash the like button. We got 62 thumbs up now, 96 watching. Let's take a look back at the silver and gold and prices now. We're seeing um, pretty much stable. Uh, here momentarily in about 15 minutes, we're going to check and see what the uh, charts are showing uh, as well as the prices and how they performed over the last hour here. But the markets are all up. It's encouraging for many of us here to see uh, silver over $18. Yes, indeed. Uh, CCT is now eating a Hershey chocolate bar. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm not being good. I'm trying to be good, and I'm helping other people to uh, eat junk. Crazy. And thanks, Gold Chick. All right. Yes, indeed. Badlands is in the house. Hello, Asol Monty. Good to see you. Welcome. Is uh, Silver Damsel still here and her lovely cousin? I don't know. They may have left. Xavier Ramos. Hello. Good to see you. It's Javier. Javier. Good to see you. All right. Donald New Mexico says, Hello, Salvation Nation. Live feed. Press 1. If Sal should cash out. Oh, my goodness gracious. Cash out. I did do a little bit of cashing out in a way. Yes, indeed. Very good. Silver Heist is here. I was talking to RCM Customer Service this week. Canada making bullion a lot. Less circulating change. May use credit cards. Folks afraid of cash. Numis on hold. Ooh, man. All right. One more day of the liver cleanse for Barbara. No coffee for her for the liver cleanse. And now some of the stuff to do the liver cleanse, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of admittedly a little bit too lazy for, like especially for the carrot juice. I mean, for the uh, celery juice. If I, have to, if I have to beat up my own uh, celery... Put it in a blender to make juice out of it. I'm probably not going to be doing it because I don't have a blender and I got to, you know what I mean? A lot of work to do that. If I could buy it, that would be one thing. I'm just too lazy. I admit it. I admit it. Or else I would like to drink some, some celery juice. Kevin Ford says, nicely put. Thank you so much. All right. Aristotle's fate says, if there was a glut of gold in New York, it would be... 300 per ounce. That's right. Depends how much that glut is, I guess. Okay, let's finish up this coffee. Almost. We've got one more slurp out of this. Or left in us here. Robert Zalasco says, All this is good and fine, but by then no one will be able to afford it. No one will understand Crazy Nancy like her idea of a trillion dollar coin. It's like Weimar Germany, their gold Coin hit three trillion marks when hyperinflation struck. Yes. It's crazy, crazy. Good one, says Snow Zeus. Thank you so much, my friend. Very good. Tricky guy. Obviously, the Eagles, that's the best, is the one on the $3 coin where Talents and Beak are shredding Donald in New Mexico's box of dirt. There you go, tricky guy. The box of dirt for Donald in New Mexico. Who is here? Who is here? And we've got a lot of good folks popping in here in the chat side. We've got Silversmith. There's four nines in here. Rick is still here with us. Yep, four nines is here. All right. All right. Let's see here. Rob Swain is here, too. All right. Very good. Truck and Plata. These articles are get crazier. Conspiracies now also to digest. It's my time to take some metal... Metamucil and gold aids, then take a nice long rest. I uh, wrote you the name of the on the beach today next to Barb and Terry's. Oh, cool. Tonight's time will take out your names, but my love to you all remain. I trust you all are fine. Well, thank you, Chuck. Very kind of you indeed. So Barb, Terry, and my names are on the beach there in the Dominican Republic. Very cool. Thanks, Chuck. All right. Okay. Sunny day. I wouldn't hold my breath on the Comex going under anytime soon. Probably not. Um, I doubt it will either. They're going to try to keep that going for quite a while. Let's finish out this coffee and the slurp here. Harder to slurp the very last, but we got water here too. 
And Jeff Coney says, when I'm broke, the goal will get sold. All right. Okay. Very good. Mm. Always oh, Yankee doing another prayer group thing tonight. That's cool. It seems like that was pretty successful that he did. Very nice of him. The community to get together to pray. Definitely need a lot of prayer for the nation. For sure. New Way says, It sounds like every country and bank that claimed to hold gold in mass reserve overstates its holdings. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know how they verify that or how accountable they are. There is a Bank of International Settlements that I think may attract that stuff. And the IMF apparently keeps some record of that stuff, but yeah, but I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's see here. David Simmons says there is a difference between conspiracies and conspiracy theories. Conspiracies exist. Conspiracy theories may or may not exist. Uh, that's the word that's right. So by saying this is how conspiracies begin is nonsensical. Conspiracies begin when men get together and do something. That's true. Good point. Yes, indeed. Thank you. All right. Okay, my chart just went under 18 for uh, silver. Let's see, is silver taking a dip? Well, I'm now showing $18.08. So it's pulling back a little bit. Silversmith is showing it below 18 again. Uh, gold is um, up $7.60, staying a little bit up there. But uh, silver may be in trouble here, folks. We'll see what happens as we get closer to 7 o'clock here and see what happens. Okay, let's see here. Tricky guy, who is your best supporter? Well, you're all great. Uh, they all send... Um, uh, Chuck does send me the most stuff. And I don't use everything he sends, but I try to use stuff that other people do. Sometimes I don't get to it, or sometimes I've covered it before. But uh, yes, indeed. All right. Let's see here. John Doe says, A gold standard would need to have denominations in weight, not value. Uh, so say a dollar of gold is one-tenth ounce of gold, and a dollar of silver is one-tenth ounce of silver. Different value systems, no price fixing. Yeah. There you go. Let's see here. Let's see. We, I'm sure we got some new comments that have popped in here. A spam comment. What's happening here? Okay, Bilbo Baggins. We'll let that go. Okay, let's see here. Oh, not a whole lot more. Pamela Rice. We live in strange times. I would trust the suspicions of Bill Murray. Rather, Bill Murphy. That's right. There we go. Strange times indeed. Exactly right. Mm. All right. Uh, Silver Honda says, God bless. Yes, God bless you, my friend. Okay. Gold trumps all. That's right. Gold is the ultimate hedge against economic instability and strife. Paul Richard says they should design it to wear... It appears the eagle is flying when you tilt it. Oh, that would be interesting. I don't think uh, they can lenticularize such detail in an eagle unless they do a stylized version of it, but I don't think they're going to do that. Yes, indeed. Okay. Okay, where are we at? Canadian soccer. Uh, yawning here. Looks really bad for the comm. Hey, they think gold blew up paper. I you think gold blew up paper. That's right. That's right. Let's see what the markets are up to, and we'll chat with some of you guys. Protesting with no pants is unacceptable. I would agree with that, Alan Gold, especially if it was me. Gold Chick wants to be a hippie stacker. All right. Yes, indeed. A hippie, hippie stacker. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm still showing uh, a silver above 18 bucks right now uh, here on Kitco. Gold is up uh, almost a half percentage point. Silver is dipped below one percentage point increased. It is $18.07 right now. Platinum is up $1. Very good. All right, let's see here. Mr. Sal, most of us want to see you dance instead of push-ups. Oh, my goodness gracious. 
You don't want to see me dance. And not be a pretty sight, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see here. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull up these charts here momentarily. I'm kind of waiting for this below eighteen dollars to hit for silver. Not seeing it on my end. Seventeen ninety seven on John P's kit code. That's U.S. dollars, right? Is that U.S. dollars, John, on your kit code? This is crazy. Let's open up silver right now and see what it's showing. Ah, oh, that's the bid price. You're looking at the bid price, John P. I always look at the ask price. And why do I look at the ask price? Because the ask is what uh, you make your purchases from. But if we look at silver, we can see that it took a pretty big leap upwards to over $18. And now it's kind of hovering. And I guess this um, this is a showing bid price here. And uh, bid would be what you would sell it back from. So that's what you're looking at there. Okay. Tricky guy. I would... Uh, would there be any value to knowing the true silver gold ratio? Uh, how would that change your purchasing strategy? Suppose a real ratio was 16 to 1. Would wisdom say, oh, only buy silver? Uh, no, because uh, that's more close in line to the actual um, uh, historical price of the gold and silver. But it's not going to go back there again for many different reasons. Uh, whatever the, the true gold to silver ratio is, however that's defined... And different people would define it different ways. I did a video, Tricky Guy, called um, There Are Actually Four Silver to Gold Ratios. Um, Chuck and Plata said, If Dominican internet worked better, you would be getting more to digest for me. I right, no worries, my friend. I appreciate you. Uh, yes, indeed. Bullion Addict is here. Hello, Bullion Addict. Sal, I just got on your live stream and just saw your reply. Cool, thank you. But yeah, tricky guy. I don't think that um, uh, <clears throat> a lot of the same things that happen or the, the dynamics of silver and gold are so different these days. Or, or at least they're perceived differently the, these days. And do you like do you like 2021 Eagle? I, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I... I you sent me a link on there, but I don't know what that uh, what that is. I don't want to open that up because I don't know um, is it safe or not. You know what I mean? I don't know. What is it? Tell me what it is, FIL, because I think you posted another link to that, and I always check all those links. Tell me, just describe it for me. Uh, Silver Spot is detached from reality. There's a kayak there she's got. That's pretty cool. Slurping some water here. Looking at uh, so bid price is below 18, but the ask price is really what counts when you're buying. $18.08. That's right. We're looking at the ask price. Always look at the ask price. All right, very good. As long as there's no RFID chip. Yeah, we don't want an RFID chip in our in our gold or silver. Let's see here. Very good. Has any new comments popped through yet? Let's see. It's a picture of an eagle. Totally safe. Kick ban me if not. Okay, that's cool. All right. Yeah, let's see. Well, I have to copy that and make it into... Let me see here. Uh, trying to get it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's wild. It's that's a crazy looking eagle. It's upside down. Let me see if I can pull that up. Let's see what I'm talking about here. There it is. Crazy, isn't it? Wild. His head's backwards. Is that a real eagle? That's crazy. Flying upside down. His head is a. That's a strange looking position. Wow. That would be wild on an eagle. Hello, Wolfie. Good to see you. take a look at the markets again and we have got some activity 
Silver is eighteen dollars and nine cents. Again, we're looking at the ask price. Gold is seventeen dollars, seventeen dollars and thirty-eight cents. All right, and platinum is eight hundred thirty-four dollars. Very, very good. Very good. All right. Yes, indeed. Ninety-eight watching. Seventy-five thumbs up. One thumbs down. Appreciate you guys. And um, Stephen says Scottsdale Silver sucks and takes forever to deliver. Don't buy from Scottsdale. Uh, they actually have been starting to respond. Oh, wrong thing. I put the link to that. They have been starting to respond to some inquiries and updating people on the orders. They had an, an, an incredible amount of orders because they were the lowest uh, spot price. So it took them an incredibly long time to fulfill those orders. But they are getting fulfilled now. They were inundated. Uh, so I understand the frustration with them. But it uh, looks like they did get them fulfilled or getting them fulfilled. So that's good. All right. Very good. Nice indeed. Okay, where are we at? Okay, let's see what we have here. And we've got the markets doing our thing. Gold is up almost a half a percentage point. So we're just barely crawling here. Silver's uh, above $18, but it just barely. $18.08 is the ask, ask price. All right. Very good, guys. Making our way. We're seeing markets are up. But they're not really uh, reacting a whole lot. Um, after that initial jump, they're kind of just leveling out here, which is typically the case. Uh, but, you know, big jump and then just evens out. And it's kind of what's happening here with gold. And it's what's happening with silver here, too. Colorado Kid is here. Hello. There that is. Very nice. Uh, Le Petit Silver, I ordered a 100-ounce stacker bar from them from, from April 6th. I still have not received it. Yeah, uh, I think Le Petit Silver, I heard somebody uh, contacted me and said that they are now starting to process. Um, now they're just now starting to process um, March orders. So they're just now starting to process March orders. So you're going to be waiting a little bit longer, unfortunately, for that April 6th order. Investing in video games, I'm not into any paper assets, no. Uh, Zephiel, why is rhodium not tracked? Too small of a market, too rare for metal. Much too rare for metal. All right. All right. Mm, let's see here. I like to hold the metal. And, oh, Silver Stanger. Is Silver Stanger here? Silver Stanger is here. He's got a new video I need to check out. So subscribe to Silver Stanger's uh, channel. He's got a, a pickup video, monthly pickup, I believe, or weekly pickup. Yes, indeed. So check him out. Silver Stanger, good guy, great channel. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay, gold is a... Uh, is uh, up just over a half percentage point now, and silver has broken the $18, right at $18 for the bid price, $18.10 for the ask price. That's up 0.87%. So exciting to see. We'll see. Will it stay up? Will it stay up? We'll find out. Okay, let's see here. Very good, very good. Look at the channel comments, see if anybody else has made another comment since then. Not a whole lot of views on these last couple of videos compared to some others. That's okay. Um, Got to load up, get into position, says Gold Chick. That's what I'm going to do right now, Gold Chick. You tell me, Gold Chick, how many push-ups should I do to increase my stamina for you? All right, let's see here. So tell me, Gold Chick, how many push-ups I should do. Hard 93. All right, very good. Hard 96 right now. 80 thumbs up now. So we're awaiting Gold Chick's word on how many push-ups to do. Steve Woods, I'm sure this is that before. Before, it's sad, but are the riots good for gold? Uh, any kind of unrest that could have an economic impact um, uh, is probably good for gold, um, especially if they continue on. 
but considering that most everything is still kind of closed down and shuttered, it may not make that much difference at this point. Uh, but it's too bad they're happening. But yes, indeed. Well, thank you, Silver Stang. You're awesome. You got a great channel, my friend. Good grief, Gold Chick. She says fifty. Man, I don't know, Gold Chick. I don't know if man, that's that's. I can almost guarantee I won't be able to do that many. But let's see how many I can do. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's try it. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I don't think we're going to get to 50, but let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, man. Oh, 30 is about my limit. Good grief. Wow. Oh, shoot. <sighs> yeah. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, I think that's about my limit for now. I think I did 31 on a previous uh, challenge there, but uh, that's for you, Gold Chick. I'm sorry. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not a stud. I'm sorry. Maybe one day I'll get to fifty. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Uh... Mm. Ah. Let's see. That's considered good for me, believe it or not. Don't forget to breathe. Yeah. That's right. Gotta breathe. Four nines, fine silver. That's right. 30 is great for one-handed. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I could do one one-handed. That's a Le Petit Silver. Let's see. Kind of prepared. 30 is better than zero. That's true. 30 tomorrow, maybe 32. Tomorrow, 32. Don't apologize. All right. Let's see here. All right. I need to get back in shape. Used to be able to do 100 easy. Wow, Zephiel. Man. So many jealous Sal can do more push-ups than they can. Oh, I'm sure a lot of these people can do a lot more than I can, for sure. Yeah, I'm no Fabio, that's for sure, Silver Stanger. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, Robert, hi, dude. Where are you using your arms? I'm not sure I get the question. Let's see here. Be glad you can breathe. That's true, yes. All right. So, since those push-ups has... Uh, as a, oh, yeah, since those push-ups, uh, silver's gained two cents to 17 cents increased. Almost a full percentage point increase. Gold is up over a half percentage point. Platinum is up two bucks. Crazy, crazy. Very good. Dr. John Cardona. Something I've been wondering. Why is silver and gold bullion available to the public if governments and the Fed are against it? Well, they're not against it, technically. They don't need to be against it. Um, our society is, uh, is pretty much, our culture is against it. Um, or they frown upon it, they laugh on it. But the government and the Fed are not against it. And why are they not against it? Because they're not threatened by it. Uh, watch the, um, if you get a chance, watch the, uh, the hearings, Ron Paul questioning Ben Bernanke. Ben Bernanke was not at all threatened by gold and silver by any stretch and there's too few people here in the united states or really in any country save for maybe turkey i think turkey that it's a different story um and india or what have you but turkey especially because turkey actually keeps coins literally under their mattress i did a video on that uh but anyways all right there keep doing push-ups let's get silver to 50 dollars yeah there you go so stacking there and says if I can get two cents out of these push-ups, uh, then I just keep on going until it gets gets to 50 bucks an ounce. There we go. Tricky guy, did you ever collect stamps? Any other collections you are not telling us about? Um, I, My brother collected stamps. I never really got into it. And uh, But any other collections? I collect Hot Wheels cars. I actually still do. Just, just for fun. 
just the cars I like. I usually keep them in the in the little cases and stuff like that. But I kind of like Hot Wheels. I've got one right here. It's a uh, this Hot Wheels is a DeLorean. Yes, indeed. It smells good. Here, you smell it. Can you smell that? Can you smell that? Ah, yes, indeed. I got a Lamborghini here. Although the wheels are not on there right. I hate that. This was a higher cost Hot Wheels car. And I hate that they're using plastic on the bottom of these things. I think that have, might have metal on it. So that's okay. It's a little heavy. I like metal. I like metal. What else do I collect? Not much else, really. Oh, I, oh yes. I know what I, I collect. I collect dating site rejection messages. I have a whole drawer full. I print them out and I put them in, a, in my drawer. I have a whole... A whole slew of these dating site rejection uh, letters and messages. And I have to print them out to keep them. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. No playboys. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. Oh, man. Uh, Jeff Coney says, I had a friend who collected die-cast cars. He would buy three, sell two, and did well. Very good. So he made it work for him. Very good. Nice. Very nice. Um... Yeah, I don't know anything else. I have a collection of kind of pocket knives that I inherited my, from my father. It was either, I either inherited inherited these knives from my father or my dad. I can't remember which one. Silver Ice, do you have a vinyl record collection? No, but I do have a CD collection. But it's not really much much more rhyme or reason. Not much rhyme or reason. I collect likes. There you go. I, can, I, can I get a like or two on this video here? That'd be cool. If you haven't liked the video, that'd be cool. Alan, can you thumb me up, Alan, real quick? Don't put a thumb up my butt. He says I click scammer marriage proposals. There you go. Exactly. That's it. I'm with you, Daddy. There you go. Okay, Sal, keep it up. Did you give me a fake mail, Addy? No, no. I was wondering why Gold Chick never emailed me. It's salivatemetal at gmail.com. Yes, indeed. That's my real email address. Don on New Mexico. How's the bandmate? Oh, man, the bandmate, uh, I think he's okay. He is all right. No symptoms, no fever. If that's the case, it's good. He'll have the antibodies for it. You know what I'm saying? Hi, Rios. Welcome. I collect Pandora charm bracelets. Oh, that's cool. I collect, oh, you know what? I must confess, I do collect Beanie Babies and Cabbage Patch Dolls. And My Little Ponies, That's I, I inherited a My Little Pony collection from Alan Gold. I got the My Little Ponies from Alan Gold. That's a great con connect collection. I love My Little Ponies. All right, look at that. Okay, just me gabbing. Uh, silver's getting another cent here. So it's up 19 cents, up a full percentage point now, guys. Don on New Mexico collects rocks to keep his dirt happy. Very, very good. All right, and Daddy Ski 87's here. I'm good to see you. And by the way, Eric is our resident bouncer. He keeps everybody safe here in the chat. We have other moderators too, which we're glad to have. Well, I mailed you. Well, I didn't get the email. Let me see. Let me check. I'm going to check it because I can check it offline. Did Gold Chick email me? Let's see if it went to some sort of... No, it didn't go to a spam folder because I do check that. It's not there. It's not an update folder. I don't know. Send, it, send me another one real quick here right now because I'm checking my email right now, Gold Chick. Salivatemetal at gmail.com. Salivatemetal at gmail.com. You ever listen to Rover's Morning Glory? No, I've never even heard of it. Four Nines Fine says, can you put a thumbs up for my latest video? Oh, did you have a channel? I didn't even know you had a channel. Let's see here. Let me search it. Four Nines Fine Silver. Oh, very good. Okay, cool. All right. All right. It looks like he's doing some melting or something over there. Four nines is. Oh, I am subscribed. How to make a crucible. Let's see here. I'm going to watch this song because I'm going to get a strike, but that's cool. With Borax Glaze. Cool. I right, thumbed it up, my friend. Thumbed it up. That's cool. Awesome job. You're working with silver. Melting, melting it down. Nice. Nice job, my friend. Very, very cool. Son of a silver stacker, what's up besides precious metals? I'm just chilling like Bob Dylan over here. 
Yes, indeed. We got uh, stuff going on. Silver Eye says there is a vinyl store nearby. Big Metalhead shop owner. He is nephew of drummer of, from Billy Squire. Oh, that's cool, Silver Eye. That is awesome. You know, vinyl has made a comeback. There's a lot of good vinyl. I've got a vinyl record here. But I don't, I don't collect vinyl. But yes, indeed. But I do have a vinyl a record. Striper, actually. To hell with the devil. Let's see here. All right, let's... Uh, See what these markets are doing now. Not much movement. 1802 bid, 1813 uh, for silver, up over a percentage point, just slightly. All right. Very, very good. All right. Here's that eagle again. Ah, look at that eagle. Boom, eagle. Put that on the new uh, silver coin. There we go. All right, exactly. Uh, chilling like Johnny Cash. That's right there. That's what it is. Red Step Stack. We're chilling like uh, Johnny Cash. We're checking an email from Gold Chick. Just to do an email test from Gold Chick. Sullivanmetal at gmail.com. We should see it. I've been hitting refresh on this Gold Chick. I'm I'm anxious. My stamina, my stamina is just like it's it's to hit this button. It's been nuts. Multi Gunman. Con. A track only for Silver Stanger. That's old school. That's, he collects eight tracks. Mm. Well, will Gold Chick email me? That is the question. I kind of don't think it's going to happen, man. It's like getting Alan Gold to email me. You know what I mean? So, CCT, I have vinyl and shellac records. There you go. Shellac. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. All right. And uh, your live streams are tradition. Well, thank you, Multi Gun Man. Appreciate that. Rick, I also collect women, but not the ones that come with a premium. I hear you. All right, Rick, they all have a premium. All right, let's see here. All right, we're checking. Let's refresh this like we're like we checked the markets. We're checking our email for Gold Chick, but not happening. No email from Gold Chick. Let's see here. Gold up $10 exactly now. Silver up 18 cents, and we've made our way here. Very good. I will, not now. Okay, okay, Gold Chick is going to do it, but not now. Okay. 50 Smoke, I have tons of electrical home copper wires. Is it better to scrap it for money, or would it be better to smelt them into 100K uh, bars? I'd probably just scrap them. Scrap them, because you're not going to get any more for them if you smelt them into 100K bars. Uh, wood nickel 87 it's funny you ask that search my videos uh, wood nickel for titanium and I think you'll be worth your while to check it out uh, yes indeed wood nickel good question very good question search my videos for titanium and for those who don't know how to do that whenever I tell you to do that you go to the channel page there it is right there right look it says i'm live right there you see that then you could go to videos and then when you do that when you go to videos there should be a search button somewhere here where's the search button there used to be a search button right here search videos but i don't know where it is oh right there it is right there it is so go to the scroll to the very end where the little search button is and then search for titanium and look what pops up. Look at there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right there it is. Look at that right there. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Watch that video. All right. Where are we at? Let's get back here. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's see if there's any more comments that have popped up here. Okay. Let's have a slurp here. Let's have a slurp with Daddy. Have a good one. Okay, Daddy. Ski, Ski87. Thanks for popping in, my friend. All right. Gold Chick will deliver. It can't type fast. Okay, I got an email from somebody else uh, who left their real name. I can't say who it is. I don't know who that is. It says, don't claim to be into British doom metal if you don't know who this band is. That's right. Uh, who this band is. That looks like the guys from, um, I know who that is. That is, 
Uh, oh, dang it. If you're not into British doom metal, uh, who this band is, that's going to be the cast from Monty Python. That's right. That's that Gleason guy back there, I think. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, Silver Stanger, how many videos are you up, up to know? How many videos are you up to know? Do you mean now? Oh, no problem, Barbara. Yes, indeed. Do you mean how many videos have I posted? Silver Stanger? I never counted, actually. I don't know. Let's see. Is that what you're asking? Let me get confirmation there before I actually look. I guess I've done a lot. Probably over a thousand is my guess. Competition. Yeah, Gold Chick. This person emailed me. It looks like they put their real name. I don't know who it is. I don't want to tell them. Say the name. But they sent me an email. British Doom Metal is. Now. Okay, Silver Singer now. Okay, I'm seeing Facebook posts of people in Georgia organizing looting in Johnson City to coincide with planned protests in Birmingham, Birmingham in New York. 20 miles from me, organized by out of state. That's right. That's what happens. They go it from out of state. Exactly. That's the thing. That's exactly what's happening in Minnesota and in Los Angeles and um, everywhere. All right, Savage Stacker. Thank you, my friend. Have a good night. Have a great week. Thank you so much for popping in, my friend. Always appreciate you. All right, so Silver Stanger wants to know how many videos I've done. And I don't even know where to find them. How do I tell? That's just for last week. I bet you I've done over a thousand. But there's, um, yeah, I don't know how to tell how many videos I've got, but I can safely probably say I've got over a thousand. I'd be surprised if I didn't. Let's see here. All right, let's see here. Okay. Hard to believe a thousand videos. That might be a bit many. I don't know. I don't know how I would find out for that. But anyways. Count fast. I try to have to count very fast. All right. I won't be leaving home unarmed again. Yeah, I know. I tell you what. It's scary out there. That's for sure. Very scary. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. Um, I think we have come to the end of our rope for this evening's broadcast. We had a good time. We really have. Uh, thank you for the plug on my channel. Three more subscribers. Oh, good. All right. Four Nines got... F check out Four Nines. Um, Find Silver channel. He's got three more subscribers. And uh, Champstar9669. Perhaps Uncle Sal is a bit more of a conspiracy dude than he realizes. Myself, I'm always adding to my stack of tinfoil hats. Who has more physical inventory? Atmex or Comex? Oh, yeah. Good question. Good question. Silver Heist... You have 3.2K videos. Search general YouTube. They list next to your channel. Oh, wow. Thank you. Whoa, good grief. I've got over 3,000 videos? Man, that's crazy. Wow. Man, that's wild to think about. Let me try that. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Silver Heist. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's see here. It is um, Salivate Metal. And it says 3,254 videos. Wow. Dang, I thought, man, I thought I was pushing it by saying I had 1,000. So I've done, I guess I've been pretty busy, have I not? Wow. All right, thank you. Thank you, Ozzy. Thank you, Rick, for popping in here. Uh, yes, indeed. Thank you. You know, they say uh, quality, quantity is better than uh, quantity, right? Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, quality is better than quantity. Now, I try to make my videos quality, but uh, yes, indeed. But anyways, but but thank you. Thank you, Silver Heist, for that. I did not know that I had 3.2 thousand videos. Crazy. And, you know, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, for as much as work as I do, you know, a lot of them, there's other channels that are much uh, newer that get many more views and many more... Uh, uh, likes and, and all that stuff than I do. So, um, but anyways, but yeah, wild to, wild to find that out. Thank you. Never knew. All right. Okay. Let's see here. That's what she said. That's right. Uh, 
Yes, indeed. Does my real name show an email? Yes, it does. Whoever you are, yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm in another window showing, doing this. This guy, I don't want to show his identity, but yes, indeed. But it's, uh, yes, it does. I don't know who that is, but whoever it is. All right, let's see here. Ba, 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 Barbara Ann. Ba, 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 Barbara Ann. I'm just old hat. That's right. That's really what it is. I'm old hat. Uh, yep, indeed. I'm like a bad habit. Just, you know, just, you know. I can unload an apple in one second, says Barbara Carver. Let's slurp the rest of this coffee before, before we say goodnight to everybody here. Here we go. Mm. All down the pike. Tricky guy. None of them about metals. None of Tricky Guy's videos about metals. But I have an inspiration for a video from Tricky Guy. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. And it has caused a big mystery to me. This is inspired by Tricky Guy. What I've got in my hand. I just got to figure out how to do this. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. And hey, I appreciate everybody who super chatted tonight. Uh, all of that money. Well, all the money that I get from it um, will go towards some new equipment for the channel. This will probably be the... Uh, Probably the biggest investment strictly for the channel, other than the computer that I've made. The computer was purchased strictly for the channel. I really didn't need the computer for other things. Uh, but this piece of equipment that I'm going to be purchasing is probably going to be a better, uh, going to be a more, you you should notice a difference in, at least in some of the things with the, with the content, at least to some degree for part of it. So I appreciate you guys for that. Uh, so a multitude of gratitude to everybody. Thank you again. I will see you Tuesday. Hope everybody has a great night. Pray for our nation. I pray that all of these, um, looting and, uh, and violence stops. Um, and, uh, and that peace will prevail and that we'll have some understanding and justice will be done equally for everybody. All right. Have a good night, everybody. A multitude of gratitude. Um, take care of each other and uh, keep your feet in the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Thank you, Silver Stanger. Appreciate that. Last minute super chat there. Thank you again, sir. All going towards the new equipment. Multitude of gratitude. Take care. Have a good night, all. Bye-bye.